have a quick review of the past tenses. Here we have four very similar example sentences, each using a different past tense. This should allow us to be able to look at the differences in usage between these tenses. First example, when I arrived, John cooked. When I arrived, John was cooking. When I arrived, John had cooked. When I arrived, John had been cooking. In the first example, when I arrived, John cooked. If we look at John cooked, this is the past simple. The structure is quite simply the subject plus verb in the past tense. The past tense verb is usually just formed by adding ed to the end of the base form. However, again, there are many irregular verbs, such as go would change to went, be to was or were, no to knew. Again, there are no rules for this, and they just have to be learnt individually. The past tense here, as we can see, is used for completed past actions. I arrived in the past, and John cooked in the past. They give us the order in which past events happen. I arrived first, and then John cooked. I woke up, and then I got up. I had a shower, I had breakfast, and went to work. So the past simple is very useful for ordering actions. The second example sentence, when I arrived, John was cooking. John was cooking is in the past continuous tense. Here the structure is subject, John, the verb to be in the past tense, which is was or were, plus the verb with an ing at the end. The past continuous tense is used to describe an action that was in progress at a specific past time. Here, in the example sentence, the cooking was in progress at the time I arrived. This differs from the first example sentence where I arrived first and then John cooked. In this example, the cooking had already started and was still in progress at the time I arrived. In the third example, when I arrived, John had cooked. John had cooked is the past perfect tense. This has the structure subject, here John, plus had, plus past participle, here cooked. Past perfect is used to express the past in the past. In other words, an action that happened before another past action. When I arrived, John had cooked. I arrived in the past, and I want to say what happened before that past time. So I have to use the perfect. The fourth example sentence, when I arrived, John had been cooking. This is using the past perfect continuous tense. John had been cooking. This has the structure subject, John, auxiliary verb had, another auxiliary verb been, and then the verb plus ing. The past perfect continuous tense is used to express the duration or continuity of a longer action in the past before another past action. As we can see here, when I arrived, John had been cooking. The cooking had continued for a period of time before I arrived. It doesn't express whether the cooking is still continuing or completed. So we look at the four sentences together again. When I arrived, John cooked. I arrived first, then John cooked. When I arrived, John was cooking. The cooking was actually in progress at the time I arrived. When I arrived, John had cooked. The cooking had finished before I arrived. And when I arrived, John had been cooking, expresses a longer action that had been happening up until the time I arrived.